Hello everyone. My name is Yao Bing Sen, a final year PhD student in SETU. Today our talk is on Belong Burst Bank Security, leveraging the development of ISO IEC 97971 marks. This is the joint work with Professor Wang. Our talk is divided into four parts. The first one is the instru instruction of ISO IEC 97971 standard. The second one is the description of our contributions. The third one is some details about our text and proof for pages. The final one is the conclusion. Main CG authentic core is the symmetry key primitive to provide integrity and authenticity of messages between two parties. There are many two, three ways to build the mark. Uh, the first one is block cipher based. The second one is universal hash function based. The third one is hash function based. For block cipher based marks, there are some real-known examples including CBC mark, C mark, P mark, NAC mark. The figure is the extraction of CBC mark. It iterates uh, the block cipher to produce the final tag. Our focus is the ISO IEC 97971 standard. This is an intentional standard for block cipher based marks. There are two versions for this standard. The other one is published in 1999, and the color one is published in 2011. This standard specifies six different variants of CBC marks. It also provides with four padding skins. As you can see in this figure, they, are, they all use uh, the CBC lag mark structure. The difference uh, appears at the encryption on the first block or the encryption at the final block. There are, there are four padding skin. For padding skin one, we simply write padding with several zero to make the length of string to be a positive multiple of n. This painting skin is insecure because it allows a trivial forgery attack. For painting skin 2, we need to write it with a single one and then several zero to make the, the length of the string to be a positive multiple of n. For the painting skin 3, we need to put the length, the binary representation of the length of string at the first block. And then write it with several zero to make the new string to be a positive multiple of n. For the padding skin four, if the string, if the length of string is already a positive multiple of n, then we do nothing. Otherwise, we need to write it with a single one and several zero uh, to make the length of string to be a positive multiple of n. The padding four is only used is in mark algorithm 5. As you can see, the six marks in this standard all share single pass CBC lag mark structure. They suffer this this kind of structure suffer from burst bound attacks. So the security of the marks in this standard are kept at the burst bound security. However, in practical but the bank security is not always enough, especially in resources constrained environment, that will book cipher and per E or in legacy application such as financial sector, the triple deaths are still in usage. For this book cipher, the input size is only 64 bits and the burst bank becomes 2 to the 32, which is somewhat small. There are also two practical attacks by Bergman and Lauren that exploit the collision on short block cipher to break the security of TLS and OpenVPN. To achieve a higher level security, let's be on best bound. It is written in the ISO IEC 97971 uh, 2011 that if a mark algorithm with a higher security level is needed, 
it is recommended to perform two mark calculation with independent keys and concatenate the results rather extremely then. Uh, this figure is the illustration of two concatenation command of two marks. We simply concatenate the result of two marks, uh, which is suggested in this international center. For our contribution, we present forgery attack on the concatenation combiner. We show birthday bound forgery attack on the concatenation combiner of any two marks in ISO IEC 9791-2011. In particular, our attacks for the concatenation combiner of two mark X1 with padding 2 only requires three queries. Our attacks thus invalidate the suggestion in ISO IEC 97971-2011 that the concatenation combiner cannot be secured beyond birthday bound. We then look for patches. We revisit the development of ISO IEC 97971-2011 in the older version that is published in 1999, it used XO combiner in two algorithm, mark X5, mark X6 to potentially go beyond birthday bound. But unfortunately, uh, John et al. proposed a birthday forgery attack on mark X5 with padding 2. On the positive side, Yasuda proved that Mark X6 can achieve beyond birthday bound security. It requires uh, 60. But the prob probable security analysis for Mark X5 is still absent, uh, either with padding 3 or even with padding 2. This figure is the illustration of the SO combiner in the older version. We simply accelerate the to tax to produce the final tax. For our pages, we revisit the impact of the EXO combiner of two marks on ISO IAC 97971-2011. Here we only focus on the single key marks in this standard. We show that the EXO combiner of two mark XO1 is beyond best bound security. Uh, with padding 3, uh, the XO combiner of true Mark 1 is also the Mark X5 in the older version. We then prove that the XO combiner of true Mark 5 is beyond based bound secure. We also prove that the XO combiner of true Mark X1 with is beyond based bound is based bound secure with padding 2. Not for the concatenation of true Mark as in one with padding two, it can be broken with just three queries. The table is the comparison uh, between the X mark one, X mark five, and other CBC lag marks with beyond best bound security. For previous mark to achieve beyond best bound security, it requires at least three keys. Uh, and for XMA1 and XMA5, it only requires two keys. We then discuss some details uh, about tech text and proof for our pages. For the attack on the concatenation of two mark algorithm one with spelling two, it only requires three queries. Here is the attack procedure. The adversary first query a single block message M to the concatenation combiner. To obtain the tag T1 and T2, it then query M XO T2 to obtain the left half of the concatenation T3. It made the third query M XOT1 to obtain the right half of the working concatenation T4. Finally, the adversary can make a forgery. Uh, the forgery message is only two blocks. The first block is M, the same second block is M XOT1 XOT2. 
and the forgery tag is T3 and T4. The T4, the T3 can be obtained from the second query, and the T4 is obtained from the third query. And this forgery attack uh, succeeds with probability 1, and it only requires three queries. For the, for the attack on the concatenation of any two marks with padding 2 or padding 4, we will uh, adopt a multi collision attack for iterative hash function by John. The main idea of this attack is as follows. If we can find one collision with complexity 2 to the half n, then we can find 2 to the power t messages colliding to the one value with complexity t times 2 to the half n. This figure illustrates the main idea of the attack. Uh, not for each pass, they all cry to the same value yt. For attack, we first focus on the first, first pass, that is the left part of concatenation. By using the multiplication attack, we can find uh, 2 to the power t messages that cry to the same value t1. Uh, on the left half. And uh, with the higher probability, uh, among these two to the power t messages, there also exists a pair of messages that cry to the same value on the right half. We then can use this uh, full collision to construct a forgery attack. The complexity of this attack is only birthday bound. For attack on the concatenation of any two marks with painting three, we need to consider the impact of the length. Since the painting three, we need to put the Binary representation of the string at the first block and then wrap it with separate zeros. To deal with the issue, we append separate zero to each of two to the power t messages so that they have some bit length at all. And, and then use the multi collision attack to, con to construct a forgery. The following procedure is exactly the same as the case with padding 2 or padding 4. We, we also proved that the our pages, the Excel combiner, uh, can be beyond based bound secure. We proved that the Excel combiner of two mark algorithm 1 with padding 3 can achieve beyond ballistic bound security. Here is our theory. Uh, here the, the, the Q is the number of queries, L is the largest block length, sigma is the total number of blocks. In our proof, we use the game playing technique. This technique is developed by Blair and Rogerway. In our case, the adversary need to distinguish the x mark 1 from the written function. We use the game calls to simulate the target constructions. These two can uh, are syntactic, syntactic identical until bad event happens. We then bound the probability of bad getting set. Uh, by using the fundamental lemma of game playing, the maximum uh, advantage of the adversary can be bounded by the property of the bad event happens. Here are some details. Uh, for some for message MI, we denote by X and mu the last input to EK, the block side for EK1 and block side for EK2, and Y and W the corresponding outputs of the block side for. 
The bit even is de defined when the output tag uh, deviates from a random MB string. The tag is produced by the XOR of Y and W. The bad event will appear in four cases according to the freshness of the X and mu. The case A is defined. Uh, the case A is when both X and mu are fresh. The case B is when mu is fresh, but X collide with previous input to block cipher EK1. The case C is when X is fresh. But mu cry with previous input to block cipher ek1 ek2. The case D is when uh, both x and mu cry with previous input to the block ciphers. It is easy to analyze the bad even in case A because we can rely on the resonance of y and w. To analyze the bit even in case B, we need to rely on the readiness of W and also the property of the event that X uh, appears in previous input to the block cipher. To analyze the later term, we, we, we define by FCP the full collision probability. Uh, the full collision property is the probability of the event that the x that for two matched m i m j the x i uh collide with previous input uh, to the block cipher. We will use the full collision name by Blair at all. For any two blocks, for any two prefix matched m i m j. The full collision name uh, nicely bounded the, the collision of the X with a previous input to the block cipher. Uh, then the collision, the collision even that X collide with previous input to the block cipher EK1 can be bounded by summing over uh, Previous i minus one messages, and then the bad even in case B can be bounded by this term. For the case C and case D, we also use the full collision lemon, and here are our result. Finally, we can summing over the probability of the bad even in these four cases to obtain the PRF advantage of the adversary. This is the beyond best day bound. We also proved that the XO combined of two Mach 5 is beyond best bound secure. The Mach 5 is also known as C Mark in mean standard. Here is our theorem for the x mark phi this advantage is also being busted bound the proof for x mark phi is similar to that for x mark 1 is that that we need to define additional bit even to exclude the inference of marks L1 and X2, uh, which is produced by the block cipher. We also need to define bad even when MI is the prefix of MJ. This is to guarantee that the messages are prefix free. Finally, uh, is our conclusion. Uh, we in in this work, uh, we show a birthday bound forgery attack on the continuation combiner of any two marks in ISO IEC 97, 971, 2011. 
In particular, our attack on the concatenation combiner of two marks, algorithm 1 with padding 2, only requires three queries. Our attack thus invaded that the suggestion in ISO IEC 9797-1-2011 that the concatenation combiner cannot be beyond birthday bound secure. We also present a patches. Uh, we also show that our patches that the XOR combiner can be beyond best bound secure. We prove that the XOR combiner of 2 Mark 1 in this standard is beyond best bound secure with spading 3. We also show proof that the XOR combiner of 2 Mark algorithm 5 in this standard is beyond best bound secure. Uh, that's all. Thanks for your listening.